11%, down 11.3%. Folks, rates matter. We've left the spring selling season. We have a lot more to talk about new home sales because I think there's something under the surface that most people are going to miss. And before you ask, let's talk about price. Price. While transactions were down 11.3%, price was down 0.9%. Remember, folks, new home sales is not like existing home sales because there's lots of reasons home prices, median home price could fall. Builders could build smaller homes. They could also drop prices. They can do lots of different things. So again, new home prices are not a particular chart that I follow, although the doomers and crash bros will undoubtedly try to scare you once again. Remember, folks, their goal is to pay their rent with your time. That is their goal. Their goal is to try to scare you and cause you to do nothing, where all I want to do is give you information, allow you or ask you to get a buy box, perform your daily discipline, and maybe, maybe if you find a great deal, do that deal. So again, new home sales down. Uh, where did it go? It went all the way to 619,000. Last month was 698. Estimate was 636. So a pretty significant miss in new home sales. We were at or just above 7% for much of the month. This is likely just telling us once again, rates matter. Folks, I need your help. 66 new subscribers. I need 66 new subscribers to take down another milestone. We are 66 subscribers away from 60,000. Yes, it took us five or six years to get to 50,000. Looks like we might get to 60,000 in about 11 months. So if you could help me get to 60,000 today, that would be greatly appreciated. So now let's talk in more detail about the new home report because I think what people will miss is an important point. And actually, it's really funny. Lance Lambert and I talked about this a year ago, right when Silicon Valley Bank was blowing up, followed by, what was it, First Republic, you know, that whole thing. Lance and I had a conversation, and thankfully, I have receipts. I said, Lance, I think something's going to happen. I think we're going to see a lot less building. And it's not the big boys. The folks that have stock and equity and all of that, they're going to do just fine. What's going to happen as we stay higher for longer is these small builders are simply going to pull back. And that's exactly what we are seeing today. You will likely see the public builders post low single-digit growth, where the small and medium-sized kind of infill builders are simply choosing not to play. So the last thing I want to talk about is if there's less supply... What do you think happens as time goes by? As we deliver less and less units, you should know what that means. Yes, prices will eventually go up. Inflation will continue. So again, one of the things that I hope transpires in 24 and 25 and 26 is builders build smaller homes. We need to have a focus on smaller homes. Smaller homes are more affordable. So again, uh, that is something that I hope transpires, whether it's the big boys or smallers or whoever, we need units. It is estimated that we are at least 2 million housing units short, and if this continues, it will only get worse. So yes, folks, new home sales down 11.3%, prices down 09 The winners are big, the smaller, or the losers are the small builders. And just to give you the price, 417000 $400. Yes. All right, folks, some great news about our school community. You get to listen to April Crosley today at nine o'clock. If you don't know who she is, her story is so inspirational. I included it in my second book, 15 Conversations with Real Estate Millionaires. Link below. Uh, Lazy Girl REI. She just has an amazing story. You will, If you are in our school community, you will love asking her questions and hearing from April. Second, uh, to my great pleasure, yesterday, Anna Kelly, uh, our Tuesday guest, Anna Kelly said that she's going to give the school community her three-hour economic symposium, talking about going behind the numbers, how to, how to tie all of these pieces together. 
it's going to be a true treat uh, that is coming uh, to the school community for free as a bonus because Anna wanted to thank the community uh, that she is such a big part of. So uh, I thought that was pretty, pretty cool. Hey, let's talk about KKR. KKR, uh, if you don't know who they are, you could think of them as Blackstone, right? Think of them as Blackstone. KKR put out a note, um, I guess it was about, when was it? May 13th, 2024. And let me first say, I want to give Jay Parsons. Jay Parsons is a wonderful follow on Twitter slash X. Uh, he put out a series of tweets on KKR. The first one I saw was May 13th, 2024. So what is that? Six weeks ago? And he said, uh, I'm going to try to read the quote. The once in a decade opportunity for real estate equity investors is complex, but also exciting. Yes, folks, KKR is pulling a Blackstone and calling a bottom. KKR is saying, hey, we are going to start to look. We are going to be op opportunistic and we are moving in. So what just happened? Again, thanks to Jay Parsons who called this early. Uh, just yesterday, uh, KKR paid $2.1 billion, 2.1 billion for 5,200 apartment units. Yes, two, uh, 20, no, 5,200 apartment units, 2.1 billion. Folks, the big boys are making plays. Ken, Ken McElroy has talked about this, right? The big boys are like uh, cruise ships and you and I are like little speedboats. So something we should be doing if it's in your wheelhouse is looking at small multifamilies, five to 50. That's where I am focused I'm not seeing deals yet, but I am seeing more and more listings. And behind those, I'm sure there are some motivated sellers. So again, shout out Jay Parsons for calling it early and getting it right. I love it when people call things early and then get it right. It shows that they're looking at the chessboard uh, almost in three dimensions. Uh, we got some earnings and some surprises. Uh, FedEx beat top line, beat bottom line. Uh, however, they're not seeing a pickup in demand. Volumes have stabilized. So essentially, they are highlighting that their aggressive cost cutting is working uh, and they are seeing increased margins. Rivian, Rivian, man, feel bad for those short sailors. Rivian got a $5 billion investment from Volkswagen, basically a significant lifeline. And I think I read, I think I read Volkswagen got 50% of the company for that investment. I don't know if that's true. Uh, I read that. And I'm not sure if I, I'm not sure if I read that correctly. But anyways, there we go. How about an office building going to auction, folks? Online auctions, man. I haven't seen an online auction uh, in a long, long time. UBS is selling a Midtown Manhattan office building via online auction. This 920,000 square foot building at 135 West. 50th Street, 135 West 50th Street, is going to online auction starting bid, 7.5 million or eight bucks a foot. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you could buy stuff in New York City at eight bucks a square foot since like 1875 or something. It's crazy, crazy. So I thought that was a wild story. Uh, I got an interesting uh Note from uh, folks following Home Prices, Resi Club, Lance Lambert. Prices are up 47% since 2020. We're now at five times median household income. Uh, we really are seeing a bifurcation of owners and renters, uh, where renters are increasingly struggling. 50% uh, of renters spend 30% on rent or more. Uh, that's about $22 million. Uh, and 12 million of those spend 50%. It's, uh, it is tough out there uh, for renters. Uh, Wall Street investor Rob Arnott does not have good news on inflation. Uh, I've not seen anybody call this, uh, so this was newsworthy to me. Rob Arnott is saying inflation will be somewhere between 3.5% and 5% the end of this year. So folks... <laughs> If Rob's right, inflation's going up, and Michelle Bowman, if you remember yesterday's daily financial news, Michelle Bowman's going to start voting for rate increases. 
increases. Could you imagine rate increases in an environment where, again, new home sales or new home transactions is down, uh, where we really are seeing the economy slow down? That would be interesting. Don't know if you own Chipotle, but if you do, you have a lot more shares today. Uh, I believe their 50, 50, 50 for one stock split went into effect today. So if you own Chipotle, congratulations, you have a lot more shares. On a uh, earnings forecast, looks like Southwest Airlines, Southwest Airlines is cutting their revenue forecast, uh, citing changing booking patterns. This is kind of interesting because when I think of Southwest, it's really much more, more of a regional flyer where some of the bigger ones like Delta and you know, United and American, they're more, you have a more of international footprint. Uh, so I don't know what that means. Maybe, maybe the rich are still doing the European travel, uh, but everybody else is not traveling domestic. Don't know. Don't know what that means, but I thought that was interesting. Weekly mortgage applications. Weekly mortgage applications up again. I think that's the third week in a row. Third week in a row. Mortgage apps are up week on week, so that's up 2%. Uh, again, Nothing really to write home about. The numbers are still small. But yes, I think a three-week trend, if memory serves, on mortgage applications. General Mills, cereal maker General Mills, missed on revenue but beat on earnings. Again, what I tell you all the time is really focus on revenue. They missed on revenue. Customers are simply trading down. Again, we are seeing a bifurcated consumer. Call it half of us are starting to trade down. So you're not going to buy the... Uh, you know, Cheerios or whatever General Mills makes, you're going to go buy the knockoff or store brand. Uh, and again, uh, General Mills also gave soft guidance. Uh, let's talk about a couple of Fed things. Fed President Lisa Cook. Lisa Cook expects little change in inflation this year. Higher for longer, no cut Lisa Cook. Uh, but she does expect a much sharper slowdown in 2025. So I think what Lisa is telling us is no cuts in 24. Look for cuts in 25. And then Larry Summers. Gotta love Larry Summers. Larry Summers says the Fed and investors are badly wrong about inflation. And much like, what was it, Rob Al who was it, Rob Ernott? Larry Summers says uh, inflation has not been beat and has the chance to go higher from here and uh, would obviously cause the Fed to raise rates. So lots of stuff going on. Remember folks, you got April Crosley today at nine o'clock. Hen Lane is doing a session tomorrow. Uh, then what's next? So what's today? Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Matt the Mortgage Guy's doing a session. Saturday, Bo Eckstein and Sunday, just this morning, I added a live Q&A to our school community. I will be doing a live Q&A for an hour. Come ask me any questions you would like. Again, join school. Uh, I think we only had one person join yesterday, uh, but join school. It is We are aiming to give you crazy value, build a community, network. Folks, you want to be in the right rooms. You want to be in the right communities with people doing your things. If you want to get a six-pack, get five friends who have six-packs. If you want to be a real estate investor, get in rooms with other real estate investors. I'm trying to provide the number one platform to do that. And for me, that is school. But let's get going. John, uh, I talked about you last week, but I, I have my purple cards. John, congratulations. Folks, if you don't know what the purple card is, that's something I created for you if you are stuck. If you've been looking and you haven't written your first disrespectful offer yet, I want to give you a shout out. I want to give you acknowledgement. I want to show you that if you write a disrespectful offer, you will not die. So write the offer. And if you would like to get one of these purple cards, I will uh, happily send that when you write your first offer. So John, congratulations. I think it was a duplex, if memory serves. We'll give a shout out to Mark for getting his next deal. Yes, Mark, congratulations on getting your next deal. And then finally, Paul. Congratulations, Paul, on getting your next deal. Folks, John, Mark, and Paul, your cards will be in the mail today. Congratulations, folks. Join school. Like, subscribe, comment. Remember, I think we are 66 people away from 60,000. Take care. Later. Bye.